got to get my gloves on because it starts already. To get my gloves on because it's cold in the Ransom Studios. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere. Uh, somewhere you, uh, back there's the snow. Yes, mm, Ransom Rhymes, hashtag. Mm, oh, figure this out, I forgot how to do it. It's too long. Oh, there we go, maybe. Today is a very special day because 40 years ago today, there was an arrival on the planet. The earth shook with the mighty fury that is the legend, the galactic overlord of the Pittsburgh Power Driver Podcast. Let me go ahead and check. Uh oh, that's right. I can see it up in the sky. Do you see it? Just go ahead, look outside, look up, and you will see it. It's the equinox of beef. The beef equinox. It's a celebration, bitches. You're listening to The Pittsburgh. It is a celebration today for 40 years ago today. Boo, ba, boo, ba, boo, ba. That's right. Pappy old, Pappy old scene, Pappy grandpa, Pappin, Papsmere. Oh, 40 years ago today, the arrival of the Galactic Overlord of the Pittsburgh Pile Drama Podcast, your very own Shoes Are Way champion, graced us with his presence. He. The, Fruit of the friendship tree bore fruit, and that fruit became beef. So, if anyone ever asks you, is it possible for a fruit to become a meat? The answer is yes, because the fruit of the friendship tree bore to us beef, the legend. Fruit became meat, became friend, became lover, because... Oh dear. This has gone drastically off the rails. Pull my hat down over my ears because as you can see, Ransom Studios is not uh, an enclosed space. It is a space for the people to hear my rantings. I gotta enclose this porch in, I think. Warm up the Ransom Studios for the winter times. Put a nice window in there, window here, window there. Windows and door right there. Put some carpeting on the floor. A nice heat. Oh! oh! It's been so long, I forgot. <laughs> COVID! Get a nice carpet in here. Maybe a, a nice heater against the wall. Hot tub over there. <laughs> Nudity! <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. We're drastically off topic. We're just. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so, dollhouse. <laughs> not today, Satan. You're not gonna get me this time, you bitch. Take that. Okay. We've gotten drastically off the rails, as I am want to do. We have hot sausage in the crock pot. I've got pre-workout in my cup. There's going to be some Poot the Bard style. Uh, hmm. I got the snifties. There's going to be some Poot the Bard style lifting later, except much less weight because I am not a smart man and I'm not a strong man, but I got nothing. In any case, we're here today, not just to look at my wrinkles, because I'm aging as well. We're here to talk about our ever aging, dry-aged Wagyu friend, Beef the Legend. It is his birthday, this day, today, it's the Big 40, beep boop bop boop. It's time any day now for a midlife crisis. I'm thinking Corvette, face tattoo, testicle piercing. No, 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 uh, 
Corvette face tattoo. What else do people do when they have a midlife crisis? I don't think I'll live long enough to have a midlife crisis. <laughs> okay, we're just itching our beard and sniffing our snot and uh, yeah, I don't know. You let me know. Go ahead and throw a comment on this video. What do you think Beef's midlife crisis is gonna be? Corvette, face tattoo. Maybe he'll bedazzle his butthole. God, this is why I don't do this bullshit anymore because it's just, it's just not, yikes. Oh, Lordy B, Lord have mercy. Ah, the hat keeps coming up above the bottom of my earlobes. Maybe I have old man earlobes now that they're starting to dangle low. My hat doesn't cover them up. Yeah, it's a warm hat, but enough about my awesome ransom hat. I'll tell you where you can get yours. Nowhere. <laughs> Cause it's not about the hat, it's about the beef. And just like our good friend, Tomothy, we've got some birthday messages for our good friend. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just started doing it. I think I have a problem in the brain. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, gross. Just like our friend Timothy, we have had some Among Us friends, P3 friends, real life friends, send in some birthday messages for our good friend, Beef the Legend. My man, I have a list. I've checked it twice. I know who's naughty and nice, but you will now know the messages that are for our good friend, Beef the Legend. These are happy birthday messages and we're gonna start out with the ever present, the ever question submitting, the ever, he's not ever losing because sometimes he just beat us and comes on the show, but, uh, pardon me, most of the time he does get nothing. But today, Beef, you're gonna get something from our good friend, the Midcard Maniac. Take it away, Maniac! Happy birthday, Beef! Go Penn State. Well, that was quite the backhanded birthday message. Uh, in any case, we have a message from the Maniac. The Maniac is always reliable in sending in birthday messages and I don't know what I'm doing here either. Birthday messages and Stump the Chumps questions. If you wanna go ahead and get in on the Stump the Chumps, I'm gonna take this quick opportunity in our Beef birthday video to let you fans of the Pittsburgh Power Driver Podcast know how you can come on the show with our very own 40 year old dry aged beef. That's right, you can submit a question to Pittsburgh Power Podcast at gmail.com. Submit a wrestling question, try to stump us. One email with a question, one email with an answer. Good morning! One email with a question, one email with an answer. In the answer email, put some dialogue, put some periods, get your answer out of the preview pane because if your answer is in the preview pane, you will be disqualified. And as my best friend likes to say, you will get nothing. So come on, try to stump us. More importantly, if you do, you will get a guest spot on the Pittsburgh Padre Podcast, which means you will be podcasting with the man, the myth, the legend. He's better than you. And you know it, Beef the Legend. Speaking of Beef the Legend, as we do know, it is his birthday, and our good friend and Among Us crewmate, Sandra, has this message for our dear friend, Beef. Happy birthday, Beef, and Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, we came back from that message in the worst time possible during one of my hacky, sniffy, uh, <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I don't know who edits these videos, but they're stupid. Okay, listen, everyone knows who watches the Casual Gaming Dad stream. Here's another, you know what? This video is full, chock full of pithy insights and also shameless plugs. Here's another shameless plug. If you tune into the Casual Gaming Dad channel, Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will see this very next person constantly feuding with our birthday boy. She has taken up the mantle of Beef Feud. Beef Feudette, Beef. <coughs> oh God. I don't know what it is, but this next person who has a very special message for our very special boy, where's the camera? Good Lord the dings. I'm sure someone's going live on Discord that I'm not gonna watch because I'm out here doing this and it's more important than your bullshit Discord videos, unless you're casual gaming dad. <laughs> God, the heavens, saw the cub is real. What, what are we talking about? Stop with this dinging. 
This next person who has a message for our birthday boy is the feudiest, the killiest, the huntress of the beef. Hound Doom herself. Go. Happy birthday, beef. Hope you have a good one. I tell you, the love, the love is real. I can feel it in my cold, tiny, rum riddled, dead heart. Like the Grinch, but drunk and not green. This, this watch here is just in any case beef we have another message for you buddy this one comes from a fellow who we haven't seen in quite some time however we are looking forward to his glorious return our good friend that lovable boy scooby himself hey beef how you doing <laughs> oh just wanted to say happy birthday <laughs> Happy birthday, Beef. Um, hope it's a good one, buddy. Uh, miss all y'all, but, you know, that's the breaks. And, yes, I still wear my awesome ransom hat. Boy, I bet you wish you had one. I tell you, it warms my cold, dead heart to know that there are so many people out there who get just as much love and enjoyment and laughter out of my friend Beef as I do. This watch will not stop dang it. I'm, am I getting emails? Am I getting work emails? Can't see it from, can't see it from here. That's okay. I, I'm glad that there are people out there who get as much laughter and entertainment out of beef as I do. Proof positive that this guy should be celebrated today on the big 4-0, the big 4-0. Face tattoo year. Bedazzled sphincter year. Oh, there are so many opportunities for midlife crisis. I feel like I have to sneeze. Oh. All right, it's not coming on. But in any case, we have two more messages to get to before the end of this nonsensical, ridiculous, ranting, raving, lunatic video. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Turn up for your birthday. The car sounds not good. In neutral, just revving its engine as it coasts down the road. It's Mordor, man. What are you going to do? These last two messages. Man, I can't math well at all. Uh oh. Uh, look, save the best two for last. And the best two come from your co hosts, Beef on the Pittsburgh Piledriver Podcast. That's right. The Barbarian. The man with the loincloth stained in his enemy's blood. His sharpened axe, his silver tongue, has a wonderful message for you. Here it comes. Happy birthday from your favorite barbarian, Poot the Bard, baby! Love you, buddy. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Warms my cankles. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, well, listen, I've prattled on long enough in what is only a gigantic waste of time for most people that listen to this. Other than the birthday messages, those are important. But what comes out of this flappity flap hole is not important. This next message, however, is important. This message beef comes to you from the very man you dethroned. The king of the jungle no longer sits upon the throne of his kingdom because of you, our galactic overlord, returned to the planet and snuffed him out. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boogies. Snots. Gross. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. You dethroned this man, and he still has the love in his heart to send you a birthday message. That's true friendship right there, and that's something that you cannot put a price tag on unless that price tag is $49.99, you idiots. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger Bomb Tom, casual gaming dad himself, rounds out the list of naughty and nice, for here comes his birthday message with a beefy boy. Hey, Beef. Keeping it short and sweet. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you have a good one, and uh, happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. And now... <coughs> oh, golly, how gross. Pit's gone. Now it's a hill. Did I spit on my chin? Nope, that's just a rogue face hair. Oh, yep. Pit's gone, ladies and gentlemen. House Ransom's getting classier by the decade. It's not classy. Won't be classy until I leave it. 
Speaking of leaving, I'm gonna do that right now. But before I leave, I'm gonna go ahead and deliver my birthday message to you, Beef. You are my best friend. You bring me laughter when I don't think I can laugh. You bring me joy when I can't see a light at the end of the tunnel. When I am in my darkest times, I can always count on you to lift me out and to bring some joy and laughter into my life. You have been there for me during the ups and downs. You have been a great friend to me, even when I have not been a great friend to you. And that's a true testament of the type of man you are. You're a giving person. You're a loving person. You are a true friend. And I could not be happier to have you in my life. You are the epitome of what a best friend is. And if anyone out there wants to take lessons on how to be somebody's best friend, all you need to do is spend a couple minutes with Beef because he'll teach you instantly how you to be somebody's best friend and how to go the extra mile for someone in their time of need. I hope you have the best 40th birthday anyone out there has ever had because you deserve it, my boy. Oh, we're getting, we're getting choked up here. Oh boy. Oh, okay, it's getting a little too real. It's getting a little too real. We're gonna have to bring it down. We're gonna have to bring it down. We're gonna have to bring in some ridiculousness. This is getting too real. Ready? Me? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Beefy. Happy birthday to you. And here's to 40 more. Motherfucker! Beefy, have a great day, buddy. Bye!